Hello guys, we've got a bit of an interesting one here for you today. Um, Altered Beast on the NES or Famicom. Just let you run through the intro sequence here. Mm, 8 bit Famicom glory. Came out in 1990, probably just after the uh, Mega Drive version was released. Nice graphics there, I pin the arcade and Mega Drive intro sequence. Uh, and as some of you may remember, if you're old enough as me, the Alter Beast actually was packed in um, as a packing game for the, certainly for the UK original release on the Mega Drive. It may have been packed in with the American Genesis release as well. Don't know if someone, anyone, anyone from America could uh, confirm that. Um, this game plays quite well. Um, I know I'm a bit of a seasoned Alter Beast veteran. I found it a little bit easy, got to stage four and then kept dying a lot because there's these impossible jumps you can't seem to jump over. The play is nice, um, music's quite good, fairly um, faithful to the arcade game, and um, apart from changing stage two to a different one, which is a bit weird. But anyway, I'm going to start it for you now, and uh, see what you think. And um, as I say, I like making videos of this, because back in the 80s and 90s, to think a Sega game was on Nintendo hardware would be absolute heresy. But there's actually loads of Sega games um, that came out on Nintendo hardware in Japan. Certainly Space Harrier, Afterburner, this Altered Beast. I don't think we saw any Sonic the Hedgehog though, but there you go. Anyway, so here we go. No speech either, so you don't get a rise from your grave. I'll try and play it. With one hand on the pad, one hand on the iPhone to video. So, um, scrolling's a little bit wacky, but um, it works. And there's no the classic power up. I used to get on the Mega Drive in the iPad. It's, it's alright, it's not bad. Anyway, let's just see if we can get through to the first boss. As I said, if I'm a seasoned veteran, which is incredibly easy, but I, I just seem to find this version quite easy. Mm. Yeah, oh, here we come. Should be able to show you transform into a werewolf now. Yeah. Here we go. Don't get the screen, get lots of flashing. Does all the moves. Fireball, flashing thing. So the music's quite a good rendition, really, in 8 bit of the 16 uh, bit arcade version. Vault beast. Quite impressive, really. You see the limitations of the hard one. Here we go, boss time. Background's gone, but it's fairly accurate. Music's good. Don't get the welcome to your door thing either. Speech that you used to get on the drive in the iPad. So I'm finding it's quite hard with one, one hand on the pad. Let's just see if we can kill him. The old tactics work for the arcade and Mega Drive. Oh yeah, he's dead. Oh god, how creepy is that? A lot creepier than it was in the 16 bit in the arcade. Um, as I say, if I was a young kid playing that, I'd be terrified. Especially with the kind of Doom 8 bit music you've got coming through there, very terrifying. I'll just show you the second stage, just to show you how different it is. And then we'll wrap it up there. Here you go. Not the stage two from the arcade of the Mega Drive. Something a bit different. But, funnily enough, stage three is stage two as it was in the arcade of the Mega Drive. Which is a bit weird, but there you go. Right, hope you enjoyed that. Um, please subscribe, comment, ask me any questions. Um, hope you have a nice day. See you later.